Hi guys, I just want to show you my chicken coop. It's fully solar powered. Up on the roof you can see two panels. The large one is 150 watt and the smaller one is 10 watt. I've got those two wired together to give me 160 watts of power to run this. On the front you can notice here I have a twin Peltier air conditioning system. That's to cool them down in summertime and that runs off those panels. On the back of the aviary, of the chicken coop, I'll show you. There is also another one coming out the back here. That is a Peltier air conditioning unit but put in reverse. That way that'll heat for winter. On the top, I've got a little light. That's a light sensor. So what I do is I turn, I set a timer to turn on between five and seven at night. And if it's too light, the sensor will make sure that the lights don't turn on. Um, down here, you can see I've got an automatic door. The door works off. It's a car aerial I've used. And with a, a little switch, trip switch, so when it's open it turns off. Inside down the bottom, as you can see, I've got the battery. That's a 7.2 AH 12 volt battery, which works really well. I'll show you what powers the whole thing along now. I'll just open up here and in here I'll show you the whole complete setup okay so in here on the, on that side you can see that's the LED lights that turn on between 5 and 7 at night and there's another one on the other side over here that's only if it's, it is dark. If it's too light, like in summertime, the lights just won't come on. Now, running the system is here in front of you. We have a series of timers, and we've got two thermostat controllers. And on the ends, over here, we have the solar charge controller. As you can see, it's running at 13.2 now, so that's plenty of power to run it all. So it charges the battery I've shown you before. Okay, so if we go along these timers here, the first two timers turn on together in the morning at 5.20. Those two push the aerial out and opens the door. Okay. The third one is the one that closes. So it just needs a one wire, so this wire bypasses the trip switch here allow it to close so the third one closes the door about 7 10 at night okay the next one number four that's connected to the thermostat the first thermostat there so that one if the temperature as you can see the temperature there it's about 22.2 on the first one 22.6 on the second one if that gets down under 15 degrees and the timer turns on between 12 and 4 during the day, if it's under that, it'll make the reverse Peltier run and warm the interior in here. Okay, that's the fourth one. The fifth one here is the air conditioning one. So that's the second thermostat there. If it's over 23 degrees between, I've got the timer set between 12 and 4, if it's over 23, it'll turn on and it'll allow these two at the front here to work. Okay, there's also two fans on the inside, so the inside of it gets cold and it blows the cold air inside to cool it all down. Okay, so now the last one, the last one is the, uh, the one for the light. So I've got that turned on, yeah, between, as I said before, between five and seven. So if it is dark enough, the light switch on top of the roof will allow that one to, uh, to turn on and then the light will light up the interior. Okay, so with everything I've got here, that's enough 
to make this whole chicken coop run all year round uh, without any interference. I don't have to touch anything. That's all off the grid. The door opens and closes automatically. So all I really need to do is just feed them, uh, water them and uh, collect the eggs. So yeah, okay. So thanks for watching.